All right, we're gonna spotlight your video here real quick. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, we're, we're in. Well, thank you for joining us. I know, um, I'm sure that feels really good to have behind you to officially be locked in the playoffs. Um, we're gonna roll straight into questions. So um, we will get started here with uh, Jeff Cluck. Go ahead and start off with a question for Matt. Matt, what's your overriding emotion right now? What do you What do you feel the most? Oh, man, I uh, I don't even know to be honest with you. That was so uh, that was so stressful. Um, but man, it just uh, so much it's just so much appreciation to a level that it's hard to describe because uh, you know you guys all know a career path and just you appreciate what I would I, I would call usually the little things, but this one's a big one. So <laughs> appreciate it so much. Uh, just in, you know, when you're driving for the Wood Brothers and having all these great people around you, uh, it just means so much to, to be able to do it here uh, with the team. And, and to give you a glimpse and, and answer your question better, um, I just got off a of FaceTime with my wife and she was crying nonstop. Um, and, and that's just, uh, you know, she, she couldn't stop crying because of excitement, obviously, just knowing how much this, uh, this meant to us and not only making the playoffs, but knowing that we can uh, – uh, really contend and, and do a good job as a team. Thanks, man. Thanks, Jeff. Okay, we're going to continue with questions. Next question, we're going to go to um, Zach Sternalino. Zach, go ahead. Matt, congrats on making the playoffs here. You've had some, uh, obviously, some high highs, some um, low lows. Um, how does this compare to I, you know, I think back to when you finished sixth at Bristol for BK Racing um, and how, how big of a moment that was for you. How does this compare to any other moment uh, in your career? Hey, Matt. Oh, I was muted, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I, I think I put them all in a pretty similar, uh, similar ballpark. Um, because, you know, each step of the way, I feel like is, you know, kind of proven myself and my worth and uh, in the sport and just scratching and clawing to get here and, and to always do the best job I can for, you know, for my team. And I've been so lucky to have each one of these opportunities. So um, and making the playoffs and doing it for the Wood Brothers is, is huge. Uh, and it's, I mean, this, uh, this goes at the top, you know, definitely along the top of the list of, uh, accomplishment probably my biggest accomplishment it would definitely is my biggest accomplishment in my cup racing career um, doing it for the wood brothers is is uh, really special so it's um you know it, it means a lot and especially knowing that like i said we can uh, contend down the end i feel like we can uh, really do a good job that said uh, you you mentioned earlier that this was one of the most stressful situations. Uh, this was the most stressful situation you've ever been in driving a race car. Um, how did you feel as uh, having a, a super speedway as the regular season finale and relying on this to be your final shot? Um, <laughs> man. Answer your question as far as that level of stress inside the race car and, and, you couldn't have scripted it any crazier than that. Um, so, you know, we had a big points cushion, uh, you know, pretty or decent points cushion, I should say, and we were really getting in a groove. And then the last few weeks were just rough on us. Um, and that's just part of it. The whole season is, you know, all collectively won. And, uh, and man, coming into here, that was by far the most stressful situation I've ever dealt with behind the wheel um, and leading and really coming into this week. But, I have to thank my career path and all the opportunities I've gotten before this, um, you know, cause uh, last year at this uh, similar time, I didn't know if I was ever going to be able to drive a cup car again, uh, the rest of my life. So, you know, uh, so fast forward here, um, you know, I'm appreciative for all the stressful situations I've been through because it's uh, made me extremely mentally tough to where um, I feel like I can be a good leader along with my, my guys on my team and uh, not, let it get to me and always do my normal deal and not uh, change how I drive under pressure. Thank you. Congrats again. Thank you. Okay. Our next question, we're going to go to Dustin Long. Dustin, go ahead. Thank you. Matt, can you talk me through how you got through that incident uh, before the overtime restarts? Obviously, I know there was some contact that you had. 
and how much of a concern did you have with the, uh, I guess the right rear or at least that part of the car? Cause it had the contact there with the, the 48 as well. Yeah, man. Uh, that was a close call. Really. It was, uh, it was kind of a hope and pray type situation. Um, the 22 obviously had trouble there and I ran into him and had to try and make an evasive maneuver and get around him. And, and obviously, I mean, you know, you just kind of go with your instinct and I thought I could get around him, uh, on the outside barely, but was hoping you don't have time to look in your mirror and see if you're clear high. So I went up around him and just prayed that <laughs> we could sneak through there. And it was obviously really, really tight and close. And we got, uh, bounced around a little and, but thank goodness we made it through. That was, um, uh, you know, really ultimately what allowed us to make the playoffs. And just the idea that you're racing for a championship and what, 10, 11 weeks from now, you could be a champion. Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, I I knew that, you know, the start of the season, we, we, we've kind of talked about this a little bit. We, we had work to do as a team, and obviously this year, 2020 is crazy. Uh, so we, we've kept getting better and better, and through the mid part of the, the stretch, I feel like we, you know, hit our stride as a team, and we're really collecting a bunch of stage points, running up front weekly. Uh, we had a few tracks that were a little bit of a struggle for us, but overall, uh, we are – as ready as ever to make the playoffs and contend and uh, to be competing for a championship, uh, especially once when we're at our best working together as a team um, is it, perfect timing for us. So that's why uh, I emphasize, you know, not only just making the playoffs, I mean, that's why it's so important for us uh, for many reasons, but to make the playoffs um, is because we knew that if we made them, that we deserved every bit to be in them as a team and that we can really compete and make a heck of a splash and hopefully contend uh, down to the end and have a lot of good races, especially since everyone knows uh, there's a lot of short tracks, 750 horsepower tracks, which are right up my alley, and this team performs really well at. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take our next question from Bob Pockers. Bob, go ahead. Yeah, Matt, you said last week that probably take luck to get in. So, I feel, so I'm curious, do you feel like you got in through luck, or did you um, – or was there more than just luck tonight? Uh, it, it definitely involved luck. <laughs> I think, um, you know, it's it just trying to make uh, decent decisions and be smart all day and not be the causer of a crash. So that was my goal was to not make any silly moves. I was a little disappointed in myself and some of the moves I made, honestly. Um, I, I missed a couple opportunities to jump out and, you know, get up to the front a couple times. Um, so there's some things to learn from and get better at as a driver. But um, ultimately, I wouldn't change them at this point because it led to us being in the position to avoid that crash and everything worked out the way it's supposed to be. So, um, yeah, there's always going to be some luck involved in these things. And then uh, on top of that, you just got to be a smart racer and, and uh, you know, not do anything too crazy. So we came out clean and that's, uh, that's all that mattered. And did you think you were th throwing it away in the second stage with the strategy you guys had? Um, no, I think we, we had the right, uh, strategy for sure. I think we, you know, I, I do everything over the same. I'd probably make a couple of little, well, I wouldn't change them at this point. Uh, I, I made a couple of decisions that, um, you know, I could have done a little better at throughout the race, but no, I think our strategy was fine, you know, saving fuel in the second stage, which was crazy. Um, uh, you know, that, and then the guys that pit for fuel, all us ending up bunching up with one to go. I, I swear you couldn't have scripted this race. The stages uh, and the finish, the whole thing, you couldn't have staged it any crazier for our uh, playoff battle between me and the 24 and 48. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. Okay, we're going to take our next question from Jordan Bianchi. Jordan, go ahead. Jordan, can you hear us? Okay, we'll switch. We'll go ahead and go to Jim Utter. Jim, go ahead. Congrats, Matt. Uh, obviously, going into playoffs, you're connected to two organizations that have a large history of success chasing championships. This is your first opportunity at being in the playoffs as a driver. How uh, will being connected to, to both Penske and the Wood Brothers kind of help you along the journey ahead? Uh, man, yeah, it's huge. It's so so awesome driving for the Wood Brothers and the support that we get from Ford is 
is unreal. And then the, obviously the, the support from Team Penske is really what makes this team uh, so strong and, and allows us to be able to continue to build this team and get better and better each week and, and hopefully for a long time to come together we can do that. So, uh, no, it's, it's great to be aligned with uh, such strong forces for us to, uh, to go into these playoffs and have that confidence of knowing uh, we've got some incredible, uh, I've got incredible equipment uh, underneath me. And uh, I mean, the best I've had in my, you know, my career, we've got some great guys around us. Um, so, so that's uh, definitely the exact way that you want to, uh, to go into this, into these uh, playoffs with all that support. And you were talking, you've talked a couple times about how uh, coming into the final weeks of the regular season, you guys had really been hitting your stride. Do you feel that you're close to, uh, do you feel like you're close to getting a vic your first victory? And of course, if you did so in the playoffs, that would mean, ex you know, extremely extra benefits. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, I think early in the season, we, we had to work on some execution and had a lot of things to clean up and we're a new group working together and the pandemic hit, no practice, you know, all that. Um, but then we really started hitting our stride midpoint of the year. So now going into the playoffs, this is the perfect time to uh, feel like we are at our best at, as a team. Um, you know, since uh, especially we're, you know, starting the year, we were a new group working together. So, uh, yeah, I, I think uh, – um, you know, I, I don't put too much emphasis on just flat out uh, winning. I focus on doing the best we can do as a, as a team, hoping that win falls our way. But if I were to, uh, to say, um, you know, I think we are most uh, ready and capable to win now coming into the playoffs, which is the perfect time. And knowing uh, that we have a lot of good racetracks coming up, we have some improvements to make at Darlington. It wasn't a strong one for us, but uh you know, a lot of these short tracks, 750 tracks, a lot of really great racetracks for us coming up in the playoffs. So that's pretty dang encouraging. Thanks, man. Thanks, Jim. Okay. Um, just want to go back to Jordan real quick. Jordan, did you have a question? Okay. We're going to keep going now. Mitchell with Popular Speed, go ahead with your question. Matt, first of all, congratulations on making the playoffs. Uh, there's been a lot of speculation about your future beyond 2020. What does making the playoffs do to, to, to solidify the plans for 2021? Um, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, definitely, definitely a big deal for, for all of us as a team. Uh, and, you know, as far as when I came over here to the Wood Brothers um, and, you know, to this team and our alliance team, Penske and all, it was really encouraging that they heavily expressed that, uh, you know, well, my contract is a multi-year opportunity uh, with them. And they heavily expressed that they wanted this to be a relationship that we build for a long time to come and to build this team uh, and to, you know, continue to improve and, and you know, get it to where we're winning um, and, and consistently run up front. So that was really encouraging uh, because a lot of my situations have been, you know, uh, one year type deals and really make or break um and you always have to perform so uh so yeah i mean i'm i'm just proud of the team and i wanted this bad for all of them and we we honestly hadn't even talked a, a bit not even the tiniest bit about you know next year or moving forward or anything because we and i included were so focused on just getting through daytona and making the playoffs i never even brought it up i, I was just I just wanted to get through this moment. So, uh, so I'm, I'm happy we did and I'm happy we made the playoffs and that's definitely uh, huge for my career and for this team. Thank you, Matt. Thanks. Okay. We're going to go to Kelvin with rock sports. Kelvin, go ahead. Thanks, Matt. Uh, congratulations on making the playoffs for your first time. Uh, my question is um, you're in the playoffs now. You're looking at a three race, get up and go. Your, your real, your best career finish was at Bristol air coming in second last year at the night race you're going into it it's going to be the cutoff race this year how uh how excited are you first of all and what do you look what's the biggest challenge you think is going to be going into the next three yeah i mean super pumped about uh the fact that uh you know we made the playoffs and the part i'm most excited about is that knowing that we have some great tracks coming up like i said so um yeah i I'm uh, I obviously love any of the short tracks we go to. Bristol's, you know, uh, one of my favorite tracks we go to all year. 
so I think we have a lot of strengths coming up as a team. So uh, that that's, you know, it's neat that a lot of people uh, know that and have taken notice of our strength as a, as a team, um, you know, as the season's gone on, we've become more of a contender at the perfect time and knowing that uh, those tracks are right up our alley. So uh, I think we can, you know, go and hopefully have some consistent races and make it in the next round and then make it in the next round. And we're going to keep on, uh, keep on fighting like we always do. Thanks, Matt. Good luck at Darlington. Thanks. Well, Matt, we appreciate your time. Um, thank you for, for joining us and congratulations again. Um, you are officially in the 2020 playoffs. All right. Thanks guys. I appreciate it. All right. Safe travels home. Thank you. Take care. All right, and to all the media who have joined us, we will have a recording um, from this tonight's Zoom. And also, just so you know, um, the other Zoom, which was the race winner in second and third, is still continuing over on the other link. So feel free to jump over there. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it.